Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Man 25 online game. Today we got the Tampa Bay Bucks and the New York Giants and I think this is the first time uploading Bucks gameplay this year. And they're actually a pretty good Madden team. Probably a better Madden team than they are a real life team because their defense on paper is beast. Their secondary, you got Revis and all them back there. And then the front four is monstrous with McCoy and Claiborne and all of them. And then the offense, you got Doug Martin and then like Josh Freeman would probably play better in Madden than he does in real life. And we get a sack on Eli there, bringing up third down, but then Eli rolling out and somehow throws in the coverage here to Keem Nix, but um, I've been a little bit slow on the uploading for the past few days, and there's three reasons in this order. One, my birthday, which was Tuesday. Two, school, just school work in general will keep you back sometime from, you know, playing Madden, uploading Madden, all that stuff. And three, Grand Theft Auto 5. As if you, if you live under a cave, that's the reason why you don't know Grand Theft Auto 5 came out also on Tuesday. As we get the pick there, nice ass bait, by the way. We th we just let them, you know, have the idea that, that um, well, I don't know what it was, a fade route or something. It was open and we just jumped it perfectly. <laughs> that, that's just when the bait works perfectly, you just love it. And it looks like poetry in motion there. So we get the pick on our first drive. But yeah, those three things have been holding me back. Though I haven't been playing much Grand Theft Auto 5. And I'm probably the only person on YouTube who isn't up on Grand Theft Auto 5 to their channel, but um, it's all good, you know. I mean, I'm, I do Madden on this channel and 2K, not Grand Theft Auto. Plus, I'd rather enjoy the game to myself, honestly. And I'm not even that good at Grand Theft Auto to boot. But um, let's get back to Madden real quick. As Doug Martin gets injured here, I was a little bit frustrated. Cause I did not want to lose Doug Martin. Sure, Jeff Demps is a great Madden back, but and he would be a fine replacement for Doug. But I just wanted to play with Doug Martin. Now, I'm um, third down and two. While Doug Martin is getting recovered, he's not out for the game. He's just out for a few plays. You see right here, Doug Martin is coming back with those bruised ribs. Of course, we're bringing him back because why not? You see, this guy's only rushing two people on second down and 12. So, we take off of Freeman, and I wanted to slide down, but as I hit X twice, apparently Freeman tried to pass it. Got hit, but thankfully, we got the ball back. Third down and seven. I had Y wide open there. Didn't take him. Instead, I stay in the pocket. Then, I roll out, and then Josh Freeman is able to get the first down with his legs. And that's just what happens when you play on uh, max coverage. That, that You just leave yourself vulnerable to that. Even though I had a guy open eventually, you know, he had no pass rush coming through. Here, I don't know how we didn't get this first down. For some reason, Mike Williams decided to die right before the sticks. And we are perfect passing the ball so far. So I'm feeling good about that. And look at Doug Martin. This dude is just so elusive in this game. And this time, we just continue to feed him. Continue to feed him. And this time, we just get some great blocking. Like, you know, Peyton Hill's kind of probably ran that one in. It, but um, nonetheless, we get the touchdown. We get the first points of the game. And that was a long drive for us. You see, a lot of time is gone. And he's got to answer back now as he fumbles the ball and gets it back. David Wilson putting it on the ground. I'm sure his carrying rating is like negative 5 after week 1, you know. So, it's rough playing with the Giants. But this game is actually like, I think this game was played before the um, Giants-Cowboys game. So, I don't know. Dave Wilson's carry rating probably wasn't that great anyways after last year. As second, first down, he tries to run the screen, gets nothing. Second down, he throws it in there, and Cruz is hanging on after these hits. Next play, runs it with Wilson. I'm calling my timeouts here, trying to preserve some clock. Second down and goal, and he gets in the end zone, Wilson, and ties the game up. Yeah, this is old. This is for, like, Jacobs and anyone were on the roster. Dave Wilson was still the bona fide starter as Jeff Demps gets a average kick return. And with 50 seconds left, we want to get at least some points before halftime. We do get ball their half so um we could get some points and then after half we can make it a two possession game that is the goal right now there that was a great jump by the safety safety made a great break on the ball second down in 10 once again pretty much sent what three people the whole game usually two and that time the pressure did come through third down though we're able to get the out route to kevin ogletree and get out of bounds we only have one timeout so getting out of bounds was critical next play we're looking we can't find anybody rolling out the pocket again with freeman throwing it but we get intercepted instead. Good play by him. I just try to force him when I probably shouldn't have. And now he could potentially get points before halftime. Now the rolls up flipped here for a second. And oh man, that was almost a spectacular catch done by Victor Cruz. Instead, with like no time left, he has to go for like a Hail Mary, but he decides to go for the out route. And I'm cool with that because the clock ends and we go into halftime just like that. I mean, I've been playing a lot of people who don't know how to manage the clock like 10 seconds before half. They always seem to run and play, and then the clock ends with, like zero seconds left. Plays perfectly into my hands. So the game is tied. Nobody got points, but we do get the ball at half, like I said, and that's critical that we could try to get some points here. Our offense was pretty good on that first drive. The 
run game was good, but right now it is getting stuffed. That brings up a third down and long, but we're able to convert on the at route. He comes out in man to man. So I throw it to the big target there, Mike Williams. Move this ch chains there real quick. And then we go back to the run game with Doug Martin, juking that guy way out the way there. And I really picked the box because I wanted to run with Doug Martin here. Jeff Dems comes in the game. Fine backup, like I said. Um, Bring him in to spell Doug Martin for a few plays, and he's able to get the first down on two carries there. So he did his work. Now we bring Doug back in the game, but we run some play action to catch him off guard. Tom Crabtree gets a good gain. Second down three, we go back to the run, and we just have him on his heels right now. He doesn't know what to do, and I like that. <laughs> Obviously, I like that. You know, I like the fact that we're kind of superior on offense there, and now we just got to do something on defense. Even we home to a field goal, right now we're just trying to guard the end zone because our um, drive took quite a lot of time and the defense is coming through brings up a third down and very long but he goes to the streak again to Cruz and Cruz continuously hangs on after the big hits and that's just what big time receivers do there he throws to the um Dave Wilson a check down not much here he throws the hour out but he cannot get the first down not even a catch there third down and four though he gets some slants going and gets the first down to Akeem Nix who stumbles forward to midfield and that brings us to the fourth quarter and now I'm pretty sure everything is four down territory for him at this this point because my offense has been great and it's the fourth quarter you know field goal will only do so much for him because if he does he gets the field goal he might not be able to stop me but right now he's focuses on that touchdown right now Eli Manning gets popped there on first down but second down he's looking he's got some streaks going he rolls out the pocket with Eli and somehow gets this pass completed I don't know how 56 didn't make the play nonetheless move the chains Eli Manning rolling out to David Wilson there we missed the big hit and he fumbles the ball and we get it back what a change of events. We actually get a fumble to help us. LOL, JK. That kind of stuff doesn't go my way unless Josh Johnson runs into Ike Taylor. Anywho, because of that, second down and two, he gets the ball, and he just runs it in with David Wilson and gets the touchdown. 4.22 left, and I have 4.22, and I'm not in a rush. 4.22 to get in the field goal range or touchdown range. I am not in a rush at all, and I'm going to continue running the ball because that's what's been working for me all game. I have a lot of confidence in this offensive line, and so far, so great. And then look at Doug Martin. I have a lot of confidence in Doug Martin, too. Look at him just making plays, stumbling forward for that first down. That's what superstars do, and they also do jukes like that. Hey, ooh, Doug Martin has been juking these Giants today. Here we make a nice cutback, get a few yards there after dodging that one guy. Second down seven, we just run to the two minute warning running all the way down to the two minute warning and the clock he's just losing the battle of the clock right now and that could be the difference in this game is we get the first down here with i'm not sure if Dems or martin there but Bar Doug martin does come back in this game and yeah that's another first down that should practically do it i think he has no timeouts we could just get the field goal here and probably escape with the victory won't leave him much time but yeah um basically right now we're winning this game because we got an extra possession and that's just what it is. And the key point in this game right now is that interception we got. The interception at the goal line with um, Barron. The third down, you see there's some clock left, and he does have a timeout, and we're not able to get into the end zone. So, first of all, let's just make sure we kick this field goal and get it through, right? Right? Okay. We're true there. We're good. I don't even know what the hell the kicker is. But we got the go-ahead field goal with 17 seconds left, but he has 17 seconds left to make something happen. He gets to the 35-yard line with Robinson to tight end. Now, 13 seconds. Eli Manning is known for clutch drives, and he engineers one right here to Victor Cruz. Very near field goal range for Josh Brown. Next play, he tries to go to the corner again. But this time I am aware of what he wants He wants to throw that corner route And we have the purple there who makes the play Watson gets the pick And he is done We just need a ball out here One second left No timeout Even if he had timeouts so There was one second left And we're able to get the victory here So I mean we had a good game Not a great game defensively But I mean we made the plays we needed to win the game And that's what it comes down to sometimes The one or two plays that'll swing a game they were on our side today, and we got the win. So, hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe for more Man 25, and I will catch you guys next time.